I'm going to be showing you how to install these JE Forge pistons inside of your L28 motor. This is specifically for a L28 ET block I have, F54. Um, I went with 87mm JE pistons. They are, these stock rods are converted to a floating piston now. We went ahead and uh, opened up the small end of the rod to allow for a floating uh, wrist pin. And we used ARP hardware and resized the big end of the rod. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you install your pistons is you're going to obviously want to put your piston on your rod. Um, it could either be a pressed in pin which requires heating up the rod and having a few seconds to insert the wrist pin or getting a new rod or stock rod widened at the small end and put in a floating pin. So next step is going to be your rings. You're going to want to install a oil oil ring first and then you're going to want to install the um, this oil seal right in between and then the top oil ring so after the oil rings are installed then you're going to want to put in your bottom compression ring and then your top compression ring I did this by hand it's very easy you can get a tool that widens the rings and put them in sometimes they'll break sometimes they'll break with your hands even once you get your rings installed there's a correct orientation for where the openings go if you can see so the top ring for the JE piston the openings can go at the bottom um, of the piston second it's going to go at the top and then the oil rings are also going to be offset um, it's going to be very hard to see in the video but there's um, an opening right here for the bottom oil ring and then an opening over here for the top oil ring so that's pretty much it once you get your piston clean, this one's pretty clean. I just brake cleaned it. Um, it's very humid in here, but you're going to dunk it in some oil. So, got a jar of oil over here. Just dunk it in some nice clean oil. And you're going to want to use conventional oil when you're first building your motor. So, this is just straight 5W30. It's not synthetic or anything like that. All right. You're going to want to put your piston into the ring compressor. Make sure you have a correct size ring compressor. So put it in there. You're going to want to put it in pretty much, I don't know, about a half an inch after the rings. Take a wrench of some sort and tighten up the ring compressor. Now there's different styles of ring compressors. I found that this one is a little bit easier to use. I know there's better ones out there, but this is what I had. As you're tightening it, you're going to want to make sure this, the piston's centered. Just kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit. It'll it'll straighten itself out as you're tightening. And you don't want to over tighten it. You just want to right there is pretty good. Now, when you tighten it with this style of ring compressor, it's kind of like a funnel, and it folds in on itself as you tighten, and it makes the inner inner portion of the funnel kind of come out like come out to where it's not straight anymore so how you want to fix that is once you come over here to the block let's see here once you come over here to the block make sure your pistons facing the correct way insert it into the block be very careful don't nick anything Put it into the block. Now to make sure that this funnel stays completely square with the deck, you just want to tap on it. Make sure it's nice, nice and straight. Check your piston. Looks pretty good. Now to put the piston into the block, you're not going to really use a lot of force. A good Compressed ring will allow the piston to go into the block fairly easily. So just make sure it's straight, it's flat against the deck, and push it in, and it's in. Alrighty. Now, 
you're going to want to make sure it doesn't hit the rod journal as you push it in a little more. Get it into where it's almost all the way on the rod journal. That way we can put some oil on it. some oil, put a good amount. Now get your clean rod end cap. Put some oil on that. And when you put in your rod cap, just make sure the tang is on the same side as the tang on your on the uh, other side of your rod. It's on there, push the piston up more, and that's all the way on. Now since I'm using ARP rod bolts, you want to be putting on some ARP assembly lube. Only use a little bit. Put on the rod nuts. Just hand tighten them all the way down. Now, there's no sequence for torquing these from ARP specifications, but I like to, and the, the torque is going to be at 45 for a final torque. But I like to do a sequence still, so I torque it to 35 foot pounds and then 45. Make sure they're snug first. And when you torque it, you want to do one even pull. Don't do a bunch of pulls, just one even pull till it clicks. Alright, that's 35. And 35. Next one, you're going to want to go up to 45, and then your rod is installed. Thanks for watching.